So we're ready now to transfer the bees from the hanging cluster down to the area where the hive body is located. There are several different techniques that you can use to transfer the bees and we chose the transfer method that will allow the bees to land right in front of the hive body and then march into the hive. That way we might get a good glimpse of the queen before she goes into the hive. All right, when we're gonna knock the bees off the object that the, they have swarmed onto, you're gonna to have to hit it pretty hard. You can't just delicately tap it and the bees fall off. You're gonna to have to hit hard to knock the bees off. Uh, it may take more than one hit, it may take several hits, but you wanna knock it off real quick. Not just shake it, but actually hit it with a sudden force to cause the bees to lose their hold and fall down onto the cloth. As you notice, the few bees have already found the entrance to the hive and are beginning to move into the hive and all the bees will turn, face the hive, raise their abdomens, and start fanning the scent of the hive towards the buster. See how they've all just turned, they have their abdomens up in the air, fanning. You can feel the air mm -hmm. being blown back through here. Occasionally you'll get clusters of bees up in the corners that may need a little extra encouragement to move right along. Wouldn't hurt to just put a little bit of smoke on them just to get them to reorientate themselves back towards that, that hive right there. Mm -hmm. Queen's pheromone is all over the place here and they're not sure what's going on. You notice over here on this side over here, they're, they're fanning out and marching in good like they're supposed to. Right here's a drone. Drones do not have stingers, so you can pick them up anywhere without fear of being stung. The drones have a, uh, a blunt abdomen. They have large eyes. As you can see, that one had large eyes and they're fairly easy to, to see, to spot out. These are not the queens, so uh, they will confuse you on that matter. Okay, now we're at the point where we're ready to move the nuke box to its original or permanent location. Uh, first thing you'll need to do is just smoke a little extra around the, the, the opening of the nuke box to drive the last remaining bees in. There's no way you're gonna get all your bees into the nuke box, so you'll leave a few back here. And when that happens, uh, once this nuke box is moved, the bees that are left here, they'll eventually go back to the original hive that they came out of. Uh, I have here a, uh, a screened entrance, and I just nail it or tack it in place. Now the bees are, are trapped inside, they can't get out. And I have a feed jar that I put on the back of the hive that has a special adapter at the back of the hive that allows the bees to feed from inside the hive without actually coming out of the hive. Set it in place. Now the nuke is ready to move to its permanent location. Now we're placing the hive in its permanent location. As you see, the bees that are around here are trying to get in already. So we'll pop that loose. Now the bees can come and go as they like. Now that we have our nuke in its permanent location, we may want to put a feeder at the front entrance called a Boardman feeder. You just place it in front of the hive. It fits there with friction. Put a mason jar with a uh, special lid that has holes in it. Invert your jar and put it in place. Now the bees are able to feed from within the hive without going out and foraging for the food. And it'll give them a quick boost uh, as far as starting to build and pull comb. 